Okay, there are two karmics here. This could possibly possibly be a relationship here, right? Um, something has ended here. And it's because somebody's trying to endure um they're trying to endure getting these downloads from your ancestors about your finances here. Okay, somebody tried to play a game with your finances. Let me see what this card says. Mm -hmm. Anxiety. Somebody got anxiety. Because they tried to play a game with your finances and the dead is communicating with them, okay? This is a karmic couple here, okay? And this is why somebody has left. Because they feel like if they leave the karmic that they started this with, um, they definitely can regain strength uh, within the physical realm, within the physical and spiritual realm here. But it's the karmic that's going against, against the grain here, okay? This person still, this person, this first one is t trying to tell this person to let it go, let it go, let it go. It's time to let it go, right? But this, this second person is like, okay, see, that's what I'm saying. I want to explore it. I want to explore more here, okay? Because this is the decision they're making to, they want to steal somebody's energy here, cipher somebody's energy. We've been talking a lot about that. And they're trying to be creative doing so through the sacral chakra here. But somebody's sacral chakra, has somebody got a disease on their sacral chakra here, okay? Yes, yeah, Spirit is telling this person to prepare themselves if they think they're about to keep playing in your energy, okay? But Spirit is also saying that you can relax your energy, okay? Because these people are being worked on right now. Okay, let's see. Hold on, y'all. I've been talking for 10 minutes and it has not recorded. But anyway, somebody knows that you're 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 headed to this lover that's gifted and things of that nature. This person is imprisoned, okay, trying to get out of something that another car this karmic ex of his that they left you for. Um they're trying to get out of a situation with this person here, but they're trying to set them up for despair. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't want them to go nowhere. This person is very immature. She's trying to do anything to this privileged lady in order to get this this man back because she's tired of this man thinking about this privileged lady here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. She's making a decision to go down a pathway that may definitely... Yeah, because she want to be the main feminine. But it's going to send her... She's going to be concerned, too. She's concerned about you getting married. What the fuck? You don't even want the... She's concerned about you getting married to your new guy. She just don't want you to have a new guy that your relationship is outshining her and the guy that you broke up with. That's what I'm hearing. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Concerned. Now, he's concerned about the same thing. He's concerned he's in poverty here. This person knows now that if they were with you, they would have never reached poverty. Mm. They only reached poverty because, let me tell you something, it was all good when this karmic was um, throwing it back, doing this, that, and other, and, and, and engaging in, you know, false activities. Hold on. Now, this karmic was fine as long as she was throwing it in the circle, but this man changed, okay? This man know now that, damn, I, I should have kept that cup of love that that divine feminine was trying to give me because... She wanted to build, she wanted to do this, she wanted to do that. They're seeing now that this person that they were with, they were only good for fun and turning them out. You know what I'm saying? But now they understand and they're, wow, I should have kept what was mine. And this is what's pissing the karmic off because the karmic feel like no matter what they did, they just showed this person everything, but you showed them all the toxicity. You kept them in comfortability. And I tell people this all the time. When you and when you are enabling somebody, they're always going to end up hating you in the end because they really want to change. They was fighting that change. You feel me? 
And they love you, Divine Feminine, because you stuck to your guns. You stuck to your words here. And they ain't never seen nobody do that with them. And so, and they see that you persevered through it without them. And so now it's just taking somebody for a loop. Like, are you serious right now? Like, I really dropped, I fumbled the bag. I fumbled the ball, you know? Like, are you serious? Yes, because it's a karmic that's out here setting this man up right now. Either she set him up with a, a disease. Or either she's about to set him up with a uh, karmic friend of hers to gain some money here. And um, it's definitely his karma. It's definitely his karma here. Physical activity. They trying to set him up with a karmic to have some physical activity here. But this person is definitely um, trying to fight for self-love right now. That's what a karmic get it twisted, okay? That's what a karmic get it twisted. We divine. We change plans out here. Spirituality and communication. <clears throat> Hold on, y'all. Saying 7333 here, spirituality along with um communication here. Somebody is definitely trying to communicate with their spirit team right now. This masculine is trying to do that, but I feel like you know how somebody uh, attention span is very low. This person wants to change, but their attention span is low for for it. They want to change, but they don't. They don't want to do the work. Look, completion. They don't want to complete it by doing the work. So they think that they can fall in love and just manifest somebody. Um, just like you, they will never manifest anybody like you because they're not trying to heal. You feel me? Spiritual partnership. They're trying to manifest a spiritual partnership. Yeah, but somebody needs to be worried about their kids as well. Uh, Spirit is saying why this karmic woman is trying to uh, do these things to this man. She needs to be worried about her kids because um, CPS is about to be called or already has been. Yeah, she needs to accept this relationship change and forgive herself for even doing the things that she did to this person. But she was very much so in love. She fell in love with that person. She fell in love with your old person, you feel me? But your old person was never in love with her. He was in love with the freakish things she would let him do. You know what I'm saying? She, he was in love with that. But when the freaky things didn't seem so fun anymore, this person was out. <laughs> and now she's trying to find a creative way um, to play with nature in order to um, financially discipline you. Shit. Okay. All right. Yeah. Spirit said, the only person going to be financially disciplined is her at the end. This masculine here is even trying to learn. Although he is going to other people trying to um, be with them like he was with you, he is learning that he can't do no more of that magic, which he will get redemption from. Uh, but still trying to play women uh, just so you can have somewhere to lay your head and things of that nature. He's definitely going to keep getting karmic women for that specifically. I don't know, y'all. I hope this resonated. I'll see y'all in a minute. <laughs>